On this episode, we're getting started on boat projects. We are having tropical sails come over. Taking measurements. And we get our brand new power transformer for Calypso. You opened it. I have no idea. Cleaning your fears away of lightning. Oh! Before we head to our first Grenada waterfall for some high jumping fun. Welcome to Lazy Gecko Sailing. I'm Brittany, and this is Jeremiah. I came from the mud. For five years, we've been sailing the world and filming it all for you. Strong like a tree. Now come along with us as we head for the Caribbean. Oh, Make sure to click subscribe so you don't miss any of the fun. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. Today we are having tropical sails come over and get all of our canvas. We've done, we've decided to do the enclosure, it's falling apart and in order to go into any crazy weather we really need that to work to keep us warm and dry. So here's the enclosure right behind me. He's also cleaning our sails, restitching them, um, redoing the Genoa red strip and a main sail bag. We're changing the bag from what we have to something new that will be easier for us to just drop the sail and raise the sail. So pretty excited and then he's throwing in some freebies like our laundry bag and our line bag for our sail lines. So. He's on his way. I'm just getting everything ready. Jeremiah is getting ready. The weather's kind of yucky, but uh, happy to get it done here in Grenada. We were always told wait to Grenada to do any boat work that you want to do that can wait because it's super cheap and it is super cheap. So I'm excited to see him, but not excited to take the sails down. As you can see, some of it looks really rough, but then if you look underneath, some of it looks brand new. I don't know, it was all sitting in the same spot, so I don't really know what happened. He's gonna clean up the newer looking ones and do any restitching he has to do, and he's going to redo the disgusting ones. These are the two sides to our cockpit enclosure. They're in pretty rough shape, and we're thinking about crossing an ocean here soon, so we'd like our enclosure to work very well to keep us warm while we're out there. We got the guys here taking measurements so these are the two pieces that are harder right and so they go on the edges on the corners okay that's my cone. yeah and then the rest of them are like this okay so you want so we'd like to get like see how it's like so they have a lot of not all of them but mm -hmm. like this one's the probably one of the worst ones as far as being dirty okay. we just like to get them cleaned up any patches that might, might need to be done sure. and then replace them these okay uh, and I don't know if you can reuse this stuff or not. So um, the zippers on, because you know, they, they zip together. You could just put a new piece here. Yeah. And you just change the glass into the right. glass like that one. Right, that way the zipper over here would match it like, you yes. know. Yes, well whatever happens, all would match up. Okay. Like new. Yeah, yes. great. Calypso's been in need of some love. A year ago, we purchased her and left the dock a week later. After about 2,000 miles, we've finally stopped long enough to get started on some projects. So the sails will come down and shipped off for some work. The guy we found has excellent reviews and it's a fraction of the US prices. We're so excited. You opened it. I have no idea. It's solid. You mounted it in there. Well, I don't know if it's actually mounted. Yeah, it's mounted. But there's the transformer. It's pretty big. I don't it's know about huge. It. Like, when you turn it on, give, come give it a big hug. Yeah, it's huge. That's what we think of our European inlet. It comes out with 230 amps. It's big because it's the marine version of it and uh, it's got two 30s coming out. Which, it can power the whole boat which is pretty cool but damn. I guess it's going to take uh, the bottom bunk in Reese's room, have its own bed. You think we're going to put it in there? No. 
I have no idea where we're going for this thing. Are you um, cleaning your fears away of lightning? Yeah, pretty much. I'm organizing. It's running good. It's insane. I sat here and heard the thunder go off and I was like, okay, well, I'm still alive. I wonder if the lightning's going to strike. Oh. Here it goes. <laughs> No idea if it really works or not, but we put important electronics in the microwave. <laughs> I'm just trying to ignore it. It's kind of um, a crazy feeling knowing that you're sitting, you're floating, surrounded by water, and you have a huge, basically, lightning rod sticking out from your uh, yeah. head. So. <laughs> yeah. 62 foot lightning rod. Just trying to attack it. Bella's not scared at all. Yeah. And she's just terrified. That one was four miles away. We're still in the process of cleaning everything up from the trip back. Um, the boat is dirty. I wish I could wash the cockpit. But everything else getting washed down is great. If we were to get struck by lightning, it would be bad. Calypso's so dependent on electricity. <laughs> I wouldn't even even be able to engage the throttles. I would kind of just sit there and stare at you. It just, it'd be just an insurance claim. That's all it would be. Gee, like what do you do, you know? You haul out and get an insurance claim and try to rebuild the entire electrical system. We'd be fine if we were like sailing somewhere. We'd be able to keep going and stuff, but uh, it would destroy a lot of electrical systems on the boat. At that point, do you even want the boat? I don't know. Because are you always going to be chasing issues? No, not if you get them all, but it would be a major pain in the butt. Any Hopefully, it doesn't happen. And here in Grenada, could you imagine? No. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm a flying eagle, all right? All this, as you can see, all these guys in the uniform, we bought here from the Annandale Jumpers Association. We are the ones who have been put by our government and Grenada Board of Tourism. So in the city of Love, we whenever you're here. Also, all the people living flying up the waterfall. You all have cameras, you're going to get lovely photos. That's all the fun and entertainment. That's really some money to help the boys out. That's our job, all right? About how high is it? Right now, this part over there, that's 60 feet. Over there is 50. Wow. Into that pool of like, right now it's about 30 feet at the middle part where we land. Okay, do you all go together? No, we go one at a time. One at a time? How long have you been doing this? Approximately 14 years. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, looking forward to it. Okay, so you all stand down there and you look for the guys at the top, alright? Awesome, we okay. do that. It's gonna be good. These guys are amazing. For a small donation to a good cause, they'll jump off the falls for you but I'm a little nervous. I'm worried for them. I'm wondering if I can just jump off this little platform. <laughs> we weren't able to jump off the high parts, not that we would, but here they go. Now for an afternoon of enjoying Annandale Falls. This was our first Grenada Fall. It was sweet. How was it? You can do it. I love adventure, but not heights. That's okay though. I'm up for the challenge. It was time to take a leap.
There are certain times of the year where the water isn't flowing as strong. We were fortunate to be here after a nice rain. The water is super cold and very refreshing, that's for sure. Are you ready to go with me? Yeah. We never get to go together, really. You go first and I'll go right after you. We spent the afternoon jumping and playing in the water. It was so much fun. Grenada is a pretty large island with several waterfalls. We can't wait to explore them all. Don't fall in and go over the falls. Why? Wow. That'll hurt. Are you having fun? Yeah. Is it warm or cold? Cold. Coming up on the Lazy Geckos. I want to open this up to see what food I have before provisioning. And there's bug. Eight and twelve twist per inch. The hawk, sundown. Cool hash that Brittany got us off. Whose idea was this? Mine. Our air conditioner's not been working. My latest screwed up body part. I got attacked by red ants. That was a major fail. The CPAP, a safe. A bottle of scotch and more laundry. Here's your punishment. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Our battery bank is no longer good. Trojan T2s. We're gonna take these out and we're gonna be putting new ones in. Did I get the right sizes? The filters for the ACs have started to get really clogged up. This is the rudder stock, so I kind of bent that way. This is our new rudder. Then it all blows up. Drones flying above us, um, people were getting irritated. There's 14,000 people on this island. Now empty cart and by cruising backpack. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Want more? Check us out at lazygeckos.net. Remember, patrons can get complimentary access. You can also visit our Vimeo channel. The link is below. Don't forget to click subscribe to get all of the fun. See you next week.